Hey everybody and welcome to episode 256 of Unboxing Wednesdays for comics arriving in stores on Wednesday, September 23rd, 2015. Ricky, do you know what today is? Uh, Bastille Day. Guess again. Uh, St. Patrick's Day. Guess again. Um, Batman Day? Batman Day! Oh. Yes, Stadium Comics is celebrating Batman Day today on Wednesday, September 23rd. Uh, a lot of stores are celebrating it on the weekend, the 26th of September. Yeah, we've, like we've decided to celebrate it on Wednesday because we have uh, another event going on. Saturday that we planned long ago that's going to conflict with it. Thankfully we have the books today so we're going to be giving these away for free on a first come first serve basis to customers who come in to celebrate Batman Day. Uh, and we also have a whole bunch of Batman stuff on sale. Uh, Batman action figures, yeah. Bat Family action figures as I should say, and Bat Family graphic novels are all on sale as well. You can check out all the details on that uh, on our Facebook page. Uh, which I will link to down in the description. What do you strongly recommend in terms of Batman? I strongly recommend picking up the free comic and also coming here to, to visit artist Mike Ruth who will be here sketching starting at 12 noon right up to the end of the day uh, and he's going to be pumping out some awesome awesome sketches. If anybody out there uh, is aware of Mike's art he's fantastic and uh, if you don't have a sketch by him in your collection yet you need to get one, and if you have some already, you need to get a whole bunch more. I got a Furiosa he did. His wig yeah, he's amazing. He's amazing. So, uh, yeah, that's Batman Day. And then this weekend, Culture Days, uh, which is uh, celebrated in the uh, country of Canada worldwide. We're going to be doing uh, a special event here where kids can come and draw their own comic book cover. So it's going to be a really fun event. And uh, we have the very talented Mr. Marvin Law, who's going to be here helping kids... Uh, create their masterpieces. So lots going on at Stadium. Ricky, gonna ask you to go ahead and open some boxes. All right, we got some pop figures in today. Here's Porn Stash from Orange is the New Black. X-Files fans, we've got Mulder, Scully, and Cigarette Smoking Man. We've got our first couple Harry Potter pops uh, coming in. Here's Harry and Hermione. And from Minions, we have Bored Silly Kevin. We've got a cool Deadpool chess piece. C-3PO from Star Wars. A previews exclusive Raiden figure from Mortal Kombat X. From Eagle Moss, we have a Femme Fatales masterpiece collection. And this comes with uh, a book containing uh, facts about Batgirl Harley and Poison Ivy. From Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul, we've got Saul Goodman. From The Flash, we have Captain Cold. And from Arrow, John Diggle. While Ricky's putting all the comics out on the shelves, I want to uh, make a quick reminder for you guys to check out the new collector's packs that we have up uh, for sale on store.stadiumcomics.com. We've got a Deadpool number one pack. We've got a Venom and Carnage pack. We've got the uh, second phase of the Marvel hip hop covers that come out in November. We've got an all new Wolverine number one pack. I'm really excited about that book. And uh, also a Howard the Duck number one pack. You may ask, Howard the Duck? Like, that really doesn't belong in that group of esteemed comics. Well, first of all, Howard the Duck has been awesome so far. And second of all, uh, this particular Howard the Duck number one is going to feature a Gwenpool backup story. Yes, that's right, Gwenpool. It's going to be Gwenpool's first ever uh, comic appearance other than the cover uh, that she previously appeared on, which was a variant cover back about a month or two ago. So uh, a lot of people looking forward to that. Check it out at store.stadiumcomics.com. All right, just a couple books to show you in the collected editions today. We've got Why the Last Man, uh, the Deluxe Edition Book 3, Amazing Spider-Man Volume 5, which collects the Spiral storyline. And we've got the Joker Endgame, which collects all of the Endgame books from the regular Batman series. So that's issue 35 to 40. Uh, it's got the uh, other Endgame tie-ins that happen in books like Arkham Manor, Batgirl, etc. Uh, so if you want the entire Endgame saga in one place, this is where you want to pick it up. Moving on to the comics, we have The Spire, issue number 3. Nameless, number 5. Ninja Turtles, Casey and April, issue 4. We've got Hacktivist, volume 2, issue number 3, from our good friend Marcus Toe and Ian Herring. Over the Garden Wall, issue number 2. Power Cubed, issue number one, a new title from Dark Horse. From Devil's Due, we have Squarriors, number four. Buffy the Vampire Slayer, season 10, number 19. 
It's a new volume of Wild's End. Uh, this is The Enemy Within, and this is issue number one. Here's Transformers Windblade number seven, and the variant cover for Windblade. From Chapter House Comics, the uh, publisher behind Captain Canuck, we've got uh, The Pitiful Human Lizard by our awesome friend Jason Liu. Uh, so the first issue is getting a, an awesome reprinting here. It's action-packed. It's a lot of pages here. Uh, Jason used to sell this for $10 on its own when he, when he was self-publishing it. Uh, this is here for the introductory low price of $3.99. Special Easter egg for anybody who buys this at their local comic shop today. Myself, Ricky, and also Rob uh, make a cameo appearance in this book. Pay special attention to the scene where uh, they're at like the hot dog stand. You'll see me and Rob floating around in the background. Yeah, is. Also, for you avid readers, is that a Black Hole Hunters Club ad I see? Whoa, cool. Had to make this about you, eh? Just had to. Look at this guy. Anyway, support this book. It's awesome. Uh, pick it up at your local shop. If uh, they don't have it, you can order it at your local shop uh, through through Diamond, who is our uh, who is the supplier for all of the comic shops in uh, North America and Europe. Uh, so, Pitiful Human Lizard, issue one. Check it out. Here's the awesome alternate cover of uh, Pitiful Human Lizard. Fight Club Two, issue number five. And we got Book of Death number three of four from Valiant, which means we also have the Book of Death Legends of the Geomancer issue number three, uh, which is a variant uh, limited series that Valiant is doing that accompanies Book of Death. Moving on to DC Comics, we've got Batman 66 number 27, Deathstroke number 10, there's the Deathstroke Green Lantern variant, The Flash number 44, here's the Flash Green Lantern variant, Justice League 3001 number four, he-Man, The Eternity War, number 10. Gotham by Midnight, number 9. Grayson, number 12. Here's the Grayson Green Lantern variant. We Are Robin, number 4. Sinestro, number 15. Here's the Sinestro Green Lantern variant. Scooby-Doo Team-Up, number 12, featuring uh, the character of the moment, Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy. Here's Batgirl, number 44. And Harley Quinn and Power Girl, number 4. Okay, moving on to Marvel, we've got uh, Empire of the Dead, Act 3, Issue 5. Extinction Agenda, Issue 4. 1872, Issue 3. Runaways, Number 4. Inhumans, Adeline Rising, Number 5. Here's a Future Past, Number 5. Star Wars Canon, Number 6. Captain Marvel and the Carol Corps, Number 4. The 50 Years of S.H.I.E.L.D. Celebrations continues with Fury, Issue Number 1. We've got this Jim Steranko-esque variant cover. And we've got the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. action figure variant uh, cover for that book featuring Leo Fitz and Gemma Simmons. Deadpool vs. Thanos number two has these two covers as well as this Diamond Retailer Summit uh, exclusive variant cover. Which features, uh, looks like a scene from the movie but uh, on closer inspection it is a illustration. There's also this uh, awesome third variant cover for Deadpool vs. Thanos. Alright, also previews uh, is in this week. This is showing you everything that's going to be coming into stores in December 2015. Yes, another new Harley Quinn series. Also, super excited for this. Finally making its way to print, Brian K. Vaughn and Marcus Martin's The Private Eye, uh, which is going to be amazing from Image Comics. Uh, part of the deal for Brian K. Vaughn agreeing to finally release this in print was that he gets to write a Walking Dead story in the future. So stay on the lookout for that. So yeah, lots of good stuff in, the, in here. Make sure you flip through the pages. Let your comic shop know what you're going to be getting in December. Uh, Alright, so last week we are giving out a copy of Captain America White. And I asked you guys uh, what superhero would have a color and uh, why. So we got some pretty awesome answers. Black or emo kid 64 said, "Black Panther, black," for obvious reasons. Black was a very popular one. Basically, everyone in the comments said, "Superhero X, black." So I don't know what's up with black, but you guys love the color black. Uh, just like uh, James Lee, who said, "Silk black," because silk is just a hottie, and it's smooth like butter. Uh, but for real, silk black because it could be a dark run and it's the color of her costume. Yeah, that's not too bad, not too bad. 
Um, Mega Man, Mega Man Chief fan said Green Lantern Yellow. Why? Because Hal Jordan has lately been very naughty. He needs to get grounded. I like that. You know, you're like Green Lantern. Oh, it's gonna be green. Boom, yellow. And you're like, whoa, what's going? My my senses, my colors are all off. Ken Ive said Cyclops Brown because he is such a turd. Ouch. Ouch. You know, I actually do like Cyclops. I think he's pretty cool. I don't know what Ken Ives got against Cyclops. Kevin, you like Cyclops? Uh, I like the Cyclops that teams up with Magneto. I like that version of Cyclops. I don't nice. like Boy Scout Cyclops from before. Hey, sometimes you gotta be Boy Scout, right? But the winner goes to CO397, who I imagine is a robot in Star Wars. Uh, they say Batman clear because people have such a problem with what they do to him nowadays so they could just make him disappear. Uh, yeah, not only do I like that idea of Batman clear, like I'd read a book called Batman clear. That'd be awesome. It could be like Batman joining Scientology. You know, he's like going clear. It's beautiful. Uh, poor Batman joining Scientology. He is a celebrity, so that makes sense. So congratulations. CO397, you win a copy of Captain America White uh, for your robotic enjoyment. This week what we're giving out is the Batman Day Special comic. This features the first comic in the Batman Endgame storyline and it also has a special preview for Batman and Robin Eternal. Ooh, look at that, Batman and Robin Eternal. So I want to know in the comments what superhero should have his own day and what would you do to celebrate that superhero on their day. Uh, like, for instance, Batman, you could probably throw a couple of Batarangs, hang out in the dark. Uh, for Spider-Man, you can hang on the walls upside down. Uh, eat spiders, perhaps. I don't know. Maybe there'd be a, a sex criminal's day and things would just get really, really weird. Who knows? Best answer in the comments, we'll win a copy of the Batman Day comic. All right, everybody, that is it for this week. Thank you once again for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed today's show. It's a light week for comics, Ricky, in all honesty. Super light. Super light. So uh, if you have a recommendation uh, for people whose, whose piles are a little light this week, what should they be adding that uh, they might not have tried before? The Island, that image book. Oh, so good. That would be good if we had some copies here to sell them. Oh, okay, yeah. Let's, let's, well, let's keep it in the room. Day, you can pick up The Dark Knight. Batman, Dark Knight Returns. Dark Knight Returns. Get yourself primed for Dark Knight Solid. 3. Yeah, the Coming Master out in Ranks, November. The oddly named. Nice, yeah. <laughs> or uh, Batman Arkham Asylum. That's a good one. Batman Arkham Asylum. So you're saying go and pick up a graphic novel of an awesome story that you might not have read. Yeah. I'm going to say go into your local shop today and pick up something local. Pick up something local and independent mm -hmm. that you otherwise probably wouldn't add to your pile. Some BHHC. BHHC if you're uh, in in Brampton and, and shopping at Stadium or Pitiful Human Lizard or Which BT dubs don't think we show this because it just came in the graphic novel for Black Hunter. There you but, go. Yeah, boom. boom. It's non-stop promotion. Check out this guy. quote. Too much swearing, Adam Gorham. They just solicited his book The Violent uh, for Image coming out in what, December? December, yeah. So pick up something indie, pick up something local, pick up something self-published. It's a great opportunity to add a book like that uh, to your pile this week. Remember to check us out on any of the websites you see listed here on the screen. Check out the Recap Podcast, and we'll see you guys all next time for episode 257 of Unboxing Wednesdays. Take care, everybody. Enjoy your comics this week.